Hey, what's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, which is my own project, and I really appreciate you supporting it right here. Uh, anyway, going to break down the rest of this classic Zeppelin tune. You guys have been asking for it. Thank you for your patience. You can also leave your requests in the comments below. And uh, that's it. Let's dig in. All right, so let's pick this back up. We were uh, going between a G and an A triad using this D shape. One, two. So on that G triad, that middle finger's on the seventh fret, eighth, seven. One, two. Then we're gonna go over to a G power chord. So it's three. A is muted, three on the B, three on the high E. And with a down strum, it's the G, and up strum, it's a D. And then that same rhythm from the D, and it's more of a D power chord. You don't really hear that high E as much. You can just do it by relaxing it. And you go D, A power chord. Open A, second, second. So G, D, and then D, A. I'm going down, up, down, up. G, D, D, A. So. Here we go. One, two. G, D, D, A, G, 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 G. And so now we have some G power chord stuff that goes. And you can play it as a power chord or, you know, like a. But I'm kind of liking, especially since we're going to be going G power chord, I just like relaxing my middle finger but using the tip on the third fret. And then I get the uh, open D and G in there. That's a G power chord. And then you get some, some quick scratch mutes in there. It's funny, it's like Jane says, or, you know, Jane says, sounds like this. Um, so an A power chord. And we're gonna grab a fourth fret of the D string. So check it out. See that? Dun, 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 dun. So. Then that G, J, 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 J again. And then into that G, D, D, A. So it alternates between those, so. One, two. And so when it repeats that final time, it doesn't do the, it just goes G to A. And so we have a new part now. And so what's going on underneath that is da 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 it's doing that little thing. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. So now we have two parts. We've got the underlying triads again, just like in that beginning of the lesson. Then we also have this new line that I'm about to teach you. And then the other thing is the bass is playing this line as well. So it's a cool thing to point out just in guitar and music in general. Uh, Doubling a, a bass line with like a single note guitar part is very, very cool. Um, okay, A, A. And there's some ghost notes in here. D. 
back to the two on the A, open D, two on the D. So. Got the palm muting going on there, a little bit of palm muting there. So. Ah. So everything, the second repeat there, it's the exact same, but instead of it's, we're just sliding up from the one to the two on the A string, so. So. time that part super slow and then finally into This next part, the chords are G to G, D to D, D A E. G to G, D to D, D A E. Jam on F sharp or F sharp seven. So we need to go into that, but let's rewind back. So during those chords, we're gonna go to the G major pentatonic for the G chord. And that's just bending the 14 on the G, grabbing the 15 on the B. So that's boom, boom, boom. Then you do the same thing for the D major chord. So you'd be bending the ninth and grabbing the 10th on the B. Then in this D major pentatonic, we're going to hammer on from 7 to 9 on the D. Then we're going to, so 7, 9, then grab 9 on the G. And then do a little double grab on that 7th uh, of the G. And then this is a double guitar bend up, but since we're just one guitar, I'm gonna teach it to you like this. It's two guitar parts bending, but um, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna grab seven of the D, seven of the G, and you let that middle finger just mute that G string in between. And you just grab that and slide it up a whole step. seven you jam on a wow and then the new double harmony guitar harmony that uh comes in on the four after it's jamming so it'd be one you know one two three and 
that is another part. So what you want to do for that is we're going to learn the uh, F sharp 7 arpeggio and then the harmony. And it's the scale it's coming from is F sharp mixolydian. But let's just go through this arpeggio. So it's 2, 1, 4, 2. And then grab middle finger on the 4, and we're going to go 4, 3, 6. Grab the 5. Grab the 7. So two, one, four, two, four, three, six, five, seven, six, eight on the high E, and then twelve, fourteen. And the rhythm, da 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 And they're not all da 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 You know, gotta just kind of feel through feel through it's kind of a groove. The last two notes are just bum bum, right? So that's the first part, the harmony. So we're gonna just play that same rhythm, but we're gonna go one on the A, four on the uh, A, two on the D, one on the G. on the G, so then we need three and five on the B, so one, four, two, one, three, two, five, four on the high E, six on the high E, these are harmonizing with the first part. Then we're going to go up to nine. Then twelve. So 12, then 16 to 18. All right, so that's almost all the parts that are, that are going on. Uh, it goes back from that, and it sounds like an edit in the... Uh, in the studio goes back to okay so it goes through all that and there's one other part which is kind of the end part So, two on the G note there, third fret, low E. O2 on the A, open D. Then two, O, open. Two O 
on the A, back to D. All right, you guys, thanks again for watching right here at Marty Music. I uh, really appreciate you supporting me with Marty Music, and uh, I continue to appreciate that, and thank you so much. Uh, like I said, you can leave your requests in the comments below, and hope to see you again real soon. See you later. Uh.